Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the GWR, aka the Great Western Railway 5700 class steam locomotive. Now, this is a Pannier tank, and it is a British design, and it's actually what Duck slash Montague is based off of from Thomas of Friends. And I am building the real life Thomas of Friends models into Minecraft. I think this is my third one before I did Thomas, who was in E2, and Toby. Uh, so, in the Toby video, I promised I would build this. Uh, next, but yeah, let's get started on the build and actually this is like my Third time recording this video, so I hope it doesn't fail because last time the video was choppy because I changed some settings To make it better, but apparently that's too laggy um, Anyways, we're gonna start off. It's gonna be a four block wide train onto one side because British trains are narrow But they still use the standard gauge track and if you don't like that. Oh, well <laughs> So we're going to take red concrete, two blocks above the tracks, make it two blocks wide like that. And let's add pistons on the side for the buffers. And then right behind it, we're going to add a gray concrete block. Then we're going to add a 2x2 two two of nether brick stairs in a circle shape. And we're going to add another one alongside it. And I like to call them Oreo wheels since they do look like giant Oreos. Then we're going to add in a two green, or not green, green. Then we're going to add two gray concretes right behind the first wheel. Then we're going to add another wheel. Another brick slabs, or stairs I mean. And right behind this one, we're going to add a 2x2 two two of gray concrete. Then we're going to add the last pair of wheels, and this is a 060, if you are wondering. So I guess these are the driving wheels. And there's no trailing wheels or leading wheels. So next, we're going to add a 2x2 two two of gray concrete in the back of this. Then we're going to add two red concretes. Then we're going to add pistons to the sides. And then we're going to add underneath it levers, two of them. We're going to pull that down so the pistons are extracted. And same thing in the front. Now, right behind these levers in the front, we want to add in two dark oak wood fence gates right in front of the wheels and we want to close it up and I guess it's some kind of I don't even know what it's for <laughs> a lot of steam locomotives they have it maybe it's like a cow catcher but that wouldn't make sense since it's right before the wheel I don't know anyways we're going to take out another brick fence and a birch one button we're going to add one another brick fence on this side birch one button on this side this could be says like a number and in the back we're going to do the same thing but this side we're going to add that nether brick fence two blocks tall now in the back we're going to add four blocks wide dark first marine stairs like this a row across and a row above it but it's upside down and above that a row of dark first marine slabs like so now in the front of that we're going to add two by four of green concrete like this then we're going to skip a block on the side and we're going to add 2x2 two two green concrete like that. Then in the front of this we're going to add um, green concrete 8 blocks long. Just on the top section so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, actually 8 like that. Same thing on the other side. Then the middle here we're going to add a 2x2. Two of black concrete and then two black concretes on this left hand side then we're going to add uh, another brick slab on the right hand side of it and then we're going to add dark prism marine slabs all the way uh, to the front of this 2x2 two two on the sides like so and then we want another row right behind that uh, another brick slab then we're going to go down here and add a 2x2 two two dark prismarine slabs. And then black concrete blocks in the middle, two blocks wide, all the way to the cab, which is where this 2x2 two two is. So in the front of the cab, we want to add the windows, so that's going to be black stained glass block with an upside down dark prismarine stairs right behind it. Then we're going to add in the back. Uh, green glass blocks like that on the sides in the middle we're going to add green terracotta or green concrete I mean like that and add green concrete in between the front two windows 
And the reason why the back one is green and the, the first window is black is because the back ones actually has those vertical bars to go up and down, and those are painted green. While the front windows, I don't think they have bars. So next, we're going to add in uh, four by four of nether brick slabs on top of the roof. Connecting the front and the back, like so. And the sides here, we're going to add the railings. Uh, it's just two iron bars tall. I'm going to add four of them, like so. Now right behind this exit, we're going to add an upside down, another brick stairs, and another brick slab, and another brick slab right behind that in that nook. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to go to the front and add upside down, another brick stairs right behind that piston, and then two nether brick slabs, and then nether brick stairs upside down, and then nether brick slab underneath. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Add two slabs, nether brick stairs, and a slab underneath that one. Then we're going to add slabs all the way across to the back. Same thing on the other side. Like so. Then we're going to add in, um, let's add a sign to the side. Oak right there. You can place a number if you want to. And you can change the color of the sign. I know in 1.14 there's additional colors, but I designed this before in 1.13. We didn't have that option. So that might, you might have to change it if you want like a darker color. Anyways, let's go back to the front. Let's add a skull and skull right there at the top for the lantern and a stone button underneath. Then we're going to add a flower pot on this side on top of the red concrete and then gray carpets on the rest of the row. Then we're going to go inside the locomotive cab and we're going to add two gray carpets right here on top of that driving wheel and then we're going to add a two by two of gray concrete like that. You can make an interior here if you want to but I didn't. So next we're going to add green banners on the sides of the windows just to cover that up like so, and in the front we want to add four blocks long of dark bruce and green slabs right under this nook, and then two green concrete blocks, and then a cobblestone wall, and then a dark oak wood fence gate. Same thing on the other side, just four slabs, two concretes, cobblestone wall, nether brick, or dark oak wood fence gate. Now we're going to add uh, the rod that goes across. So just add one stone slab to the back of the first wheel, and then we're going to add a line across behind this slab to the first of the last wheel. So it looks like that. So it's basically one, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, like so. Now we're getting fairly close to finishing this off. Now let's add in a little side detail. This says GWR on the side, so we're going to line it up with the cobblestone wall. Space them apart one block, a space in between. You could have three of them like that. Same thing on the other side. Now I think this is the last part. We're going to add Dark Prince Marine stairs. And we're going to have that in front of the cab where this false middle is. Since it is four blocks wide, we have to make a false middle. And we're going to add a cut sandstone block, which I don't have. So let's grab it. So place cut sandstone here, and then a birch trap door on top, just to make it a little bit taller. And dark prismarine slab, and then two green concrete blocks with dark prismarine slabs on top. So I had a dark prismarine slab right behind the smokestack, and a dark prismarine stairs right there facing the cab. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build uh, the GWR Great Western Railway 5700 class steam pantier tank locomotive in minecraft finally i'm finished with this hopefully when i render this video it's not going to be laggy like the last time but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because i'll be uploading more videos like this in the future and i'll see you guys next time